I am a U.S. citizen. I am a U.S. citizen. I am a U.S. citizen. Married to a foreign national. Married to a foreign national. I am a U.S. citizen married to a foreign national. We have been happily married with three children for 18 years. We have been happily married for six and a half years. We have been together for 10 years, married for five, and have three children together. Right now, my husband and I are fighting to keep him in the United States. Right now, my husband and I are living in the shadows in the United States of America. But my husband and I live in fear every day. American Families United estimates nearly 2 million American families like ours have issues securing lawful status for their spouses. But you're married. How can that be? But you're married, right? How can that be? But you're married. How can that be? Everyone I've ever told my story to has asked me that question. Here's what they didn't know, and neither did I. In 1996, the Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act, or IRA-IRA, passed focusing on restructuring the process for admitting or removing undocumented immigrants. This law has prevented many of those who have been in the country unlawfully from re-entering, even if an otherwise viable legal pathway such as marriage exists. This law establishes the three and 10 year re-entry bars for immigrants who accumulated unlawful presence in the US and thus became inadmissible upon leaving the country. That means if my husband were to be deported or leave voluntarily, he could not come back to the U.S. for 10 years or more. He'd miss our children's entire childhood. In some cases, the immigrant could be barred for life, like if they mistakenly claim U.S. citizenship, even if they have an otherwise clean criminal record. This law essentially traps undocumented immigrants in the United States. If they stay, they remain in the shadows, but if they leave, it's quite likely they can never again return to their families. American Families United has been fighting for our rights as U.S. citizens to allow our spouses the opportunity to gain legal status and keep our families together. We currently have a bipartisan act in the House of Representatives to help our families overcome this unjust law. Please support us by signing our petition and calling your representatives. Ask them to support this legislation. Another great way to show support is donating on Giving Tuesday, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, which falls on December 1st this year. Visit our website at AmericanFamiliesUnited.org to take action today. We want nothing more than a chance to keep our families together in the country we and they love.